Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We talk about everything Arizona real estate related. We're going to circle back, talk about water again. Welcome, welcome. Be sure and hit the like button or even the dislike button. Just start pushing buttons. Water. Uh, you may remember when we talked to Jim about water that one of the main uh, entities is farming that's using a lot of our water and they're using a, using antiquated irrigation, flood irrigation that's about 500 years old. And that's where the majority of our water goes is for farming. And it was pointed out that we're growing a lot of alfalfa and then it, shipping it to the Middle East. And so I got an email this morning from one of our subscribers with an article, and we are indeed doing that. But here's the kicker. We don't own those farms. Um, United Arab Emirates does. Drinking water for homes and schools in Arizona is drying up because foreign-owned mega farms are sucking it up for their crops, which are then shipped to the Middle East. Drinking water for residents in Wendon, Arizona, has started to dry up as mega farms owned and backed by foreign nations use it to grow their crops instead. And here's that area that we're talking about here. Here's Phoenix metro area right here. This is all farmland out here. It's all desert. And they're growing alfalfa way out in the middle of nowhere there. And they're putting it, There's there it is right there. And why are they doing that? What makes them want to grow alfalfa in Arizona. Well, before we get to that, let me show you the impact. Groundwater levels are dropping in Arizona. Residential homes bound 300 feet. So back in the 1950s, we had to go down uh, 100 feet to find water. Now we got to go down 540 feet. And these mega farms are drilling down as low as 1,500 feet. So we're running out of water as we speak. What happened was... They had water issues in their country, and uh, they ran out of water, so they put a lot of conservation restrictions in and said, well, let's just export, let's import our grains and our alfalfa. And uh, so there's a dairy company named Alamira bought the farm last year. This is referring to one outside of Phoenix here, and has planted thousands of acres of groundwater guzzling alfalfa to make that hay. Saudi Arabia can't grow its own hay anymore because those crops drained their own ancient aquifers. They sucked up all their water. Well, let's go find some other water. So they got about 15 water wells when they purchased the property. Now, each one of those wells can pump about 1.5 billion gallons of water. It's an incredible amount of water that they're going to be drawing from the aquifers. What's the problem? Well, the problem is... The laws were put in place in the 70s, and kudos to Arizona. They were really one of the first states to put in groundwater laws. But the laws were designed for local or domestic farming. The idea that another country would come and essentially export your water via crops that wasn't really around 30, 40 years ago. And also, the laws that are in place are really inadequate for dealing with this new trend. This is according to NPR. So we don't have the laws to stop this yet. Now, I did a, uh, uh, a video a while back where I talked and showed the two governor's proposals on what they were going to look at. Both of them are going to look and address the issue of farming. Um, but the first issues that they're looking at addressing are changing the method of which farms irrigate their land instead of doing the old 500-year-old method where you flood and irrigate the farms. Uh, there's drip irrigation that's out there. Perhaps um, if you don't want to ban the sale of, uh, of farmland to uh, outside countries, maybe you can require that, yeah, you can do this, but if you're going to farm on it, you better have the latest technology when it comes to water conservation. That'd be a good start. But it just seems wrong for our state to get all of its water drained and uh, sent back to Saudi Arabia. And here's another article here that says Arizona, Arabia, alfalfa, Gulf agriculture industry sparks a conservation in the American Southwest. Oh, good. We're talking about it. So after drying up their own desert aquifers in 2014, Saudi Arabia began purchasing large acres of American farmland in order to grow alfalfa to be exported and consumed by Saudi cattle. That same year, this 
wholly owned subsidiary, first purchased 10,000 acres of alfalfa growing land near rural Arizona, town of Vicksburg, Arizona. Nearly two years later, they doubled down on their Southwest acquisitions, purchasing nearly 2,000 acres in and around Blythe, California. The United Arab Emirates also established a presence in the same Southwest region via purchases while the Arizona region of uh, this production company has always been the center of agriculture, the water pump capacity used by the company to farm alfalfa stands at 1.5 billion gallons of water again, far surpassing that was needed when we were growing our own crops. So they're not just coming in and buying farmland and the water use is remaining the same. They are far surpassing the capacity we have here. And it's, it's time that uh, something get done about it. So I think uh, maybe we should get a little louder on this water issue because, you know, we've already been told we have to cut back 13% because the Colorado River is drying up. And now you can see one of the reasons it's drying up is, uh, is this alfalfa growing. Although they don't get the majority of their water from the Colorado River, they're drying up our other resource, which has notoriously had a 100-year supply of water. Well, that's dwindling quickly. We're down to about 50 years now. So it's going away. And it is a problem, and it's affecting the homes up there when they have wells and they try to get their water and it's starting to run dry. So something has to be done about this. Let's hope the current politic, uh, politicians that are coming into office are going to quickly address this issue. We can't just let this go on. We can't just let other countries come in, suck out all our water, and ship the crops to another country. Anyway, I just came across that. I thought I'd share it with you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.